welcome back to my channel today we are making ice cream i think i'm gonna make a raspberry chocolate chip swirl ice cream so i will show you guys how i make it why does it never focus okay first we are going to be cooking our raspberries i have a 12 ounce pack of frozen raspberries but you can use fresh ones as well and then i have one cup of sugar and we are just gonna bring that to a boil. So we're just letting this slowly incorporate together on medium heat. Okay, while that mixture is on the stove, I'm going to put this bowl. Bless you! Okay, while that is on the stove, I'm gonna put this bowl to cool down in the freezer. So this is what we want it to look like basically. Whole raspberries, but it's still kind of liquidy. And let that rest on the side. Okay, now we're gonna take six eggs and separate the yolks. Ah! Okay, so I have four cups of half and half here. A lot of recipes called for heavy whipping cream, but I like to use half and half because it creates more of an icy consistency which is how I like my ice cream. I'm gonna heat this over medium heat on a pot. And then I'm going to be adding half a cup of sugar. And next we're gonna add a pinch of salt. Maybe it's like a fourth of a teaspoon. Okay, so we wanna make sure that it is over medium heat and it doesn't boil. We want it to be a light simmer the entire time. Okay, once the sugar and the salt has incorporated, we're actually gonna temper the eggs with the hot half and half, so. So we're gonna take a little bit and put it in the egg mixture and mix, tempering the egg, which is making it warmer so they don't scramble when we put it into the hot mixture of half and half. Oh my gosh, the steam. Put it into the mixture. Make sure to incorporate it. And we're gonna let that steep until it becomes a little thicker. Okay, I feel like I want some vanilla in here. So we're gonna add half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Okay, you wanna keep an eye on your mixture. Make sure it doesn't boil, but it's just lightly simmering. And you're gonna keep stirring occasionally, pretty frequently. And then the mixture is eventually gonna thicken up. And then I'm gonna have this cold bowl of water and put some ice in here. All right, once the moisture thickens, the moisture, <laughs> once the mixture thickens, we're gonna put it through a fine mesh sieve into the cooled bowl that we had in the freezer to cool the mixture down and make sure to get any of the egg bits that might have scrambled during the process. Okay, now we're gonna take this mixture and put it into our cold water that we prepared in the bigger bowl. If you don't wanna use as many bowls like this and go through this cooling process, you could always just cool this for like several hours. I would say like two to three hours in the fridge. So I'm just gonna lightly stir this until it cools down because we can't have a hot mixture be put into our ice cream machine. Went and grabbed my ice cream base turner thingy i literally don't know what you call this but i had it freezing for several days you have to freeze it for at least 16 to 24 hours so that's the only downside about this ice cream machine but i'm gonna put my mixture into the chilled base gonna put this down like this okay I'm not feeling good. I'm feeling lightheaded and dizzy. And also pretty frustrated at how this video is turning out. The filming process was not easy and my camera keeps freaking out on me. I don't know what's wrong with it. I'm thinking maybe it's not meant to be. This is how Claire Seppet feels on the third day of Gourmet Makes. Defeated and over it. 
Okay, when it looks like that, that means it's ready to be turned off and put in a container to be frozen. Okay, so I have a container that I'm gonna put the ice cream in. So I have the ice cream and then I have my raspberries. And then I chopped up some, a half cup of dark chocolate chips. I just roughly chopped it up. It depends on how thin you want it. I like it kind of thinner than chunkier, so like that. And then we're gonna put a layer of ice cream, a layer of the raspberry, and then a layer of the chocolate, and then repeat. And it's not gonna be like a straight meat layer. You're just gonna like this, like that. And sprinkle some chocolate. Okay, so this is what it looks like before it's frozen. And now we're gonna freeze it overnight. Hello everyone, it is the next day. Um, I look a little weird today because I woke up and my eye creases doubled in size and it always does this like randomly but I never feel like I look like myself when I have really big eyelids so please disregard this so yesterday the filming process oh you could just tell like I was not into it and I, it's because I wasn't feeling that good but I really still wanted to film it and hurry up and upload a video but yeah, you could just tell in the footage I was like really low energy, not feeling well, but I'm feeling much better today. So, we are going to scoop the ice cream. So I have my ice cream scooper, and I feel like I'm really good at scooping ice cream and making it look really circular and pretty. I'm going to try to make it all cute. This didn't happen before with, I made coffee ice cream before and it wasn't this hard. I'm very confused. This one is like really icy. It's like a rock, do you guys hear that? Okay, hello guys. I think it's been an hour and I let the ice cream thaw. So, we are going to scoop it. Literally, oh. this entire oh video God. is such a fail. Nothing is going right, but it's okay. Oh, oh dang, that's pretty good. The tartness from the raspberry balanced with the bitterness of the dark chocolate and the sweetness of the cream. Even though the process was very difficult and almost a fail, the final product is really good. 